So I've been looking for a way to take a, a MP3 or WAV or some sort of sound file and create a visual uh, waveform that you can look at, kind of like when you're in the audio editor, you can see the wave. Um, and I haven't quite got what I want just yet, but the first thing I came across, I, cause I thought Socks, which is a great tool for messing with audio, might have something built in. So it does have something, but it's more of a spectrogram than a, what I would believe would be called a waveform. So uh, this is how it works. First thing, I'm in a directory here. If I list it out, you can see there's one file in here. It is an MP3, music.mp3. Um, and if we try to run socks in the way that we're going to, I'm not even going to do it. We're going to get an error saying um, socks failed format, can't open input file, um, something blah, blah, blah. Uh, and it has to do with being able to do this with a um, MP3. Uh, socks is not going to be able to do this with MP3. You're going to have to convert the file to a WAV format first. And that's simple enough to do using a tool like FFmpeg. Let me go FFmpeg-i, our input file, and I'm gonna just say music.wave. It'll go real fast because it doesn't have to compress as much as it does when it comes to like uh, an MP3. So boom, right away we've got a file so we can listen them out. Obviously the WAV file is gonna be a lot bigger. You can see it's 53 megabytes compared to 2.4 megabytes. Um, so I'm sure there's tools or ways around this, but for right now, to get this little spectrum, you can create a WAV file, you can delete it after we create our spectrum. But the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna type in socks and make sure you have socks installed. Music.wave dash N, and we're going to use spectrum or spectrogram and then at this point, if we just hit enter, now we can list out our files and you can see we have a PNG in here called spectrogram. Let me display that out. And this is what it looks like. So there's our spectrogram for that WAV file that we have. Um, you can put in some other options there. One by default, it creates a spectrogram.png. If we were, were to run the command again, it overwrites without asking you. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're going to be converting multiple ones, you don't want to overwrite the last one, not that it takes very long. Um, but we can do dash O and we can say um, music.png. And now if we list out, you can see there's a music.png right here. And we can display that on the screen. And you can see it's the same, just giving it a different name. Um, other options for this is um, we can do dash M. Uh, which basically creates a monochrome, so a black and white image, if you will. Um, and then you notice the background's black, so let's say you want to print this up. You don't want to waste a lot of black ink. Obviously, you can invert it using um, something like Image Magic, uh, but we can just add the dash L argument, and we can display that, and you can see it gives it a white background, basically inverts it. So, um, that's just a simple little tutorial. I'm going to keep on looking on more ways to get these visuals on sound files. Uh, hopefully something that gives us more of a waveform and something uh, that may work with MP3s without having to convert them first. But, um, yeah, this is a start, and I thought I'd share it with you. I thank you for watching, and I thank you for visiting my website, uh, and I thank you for all your support. Um, I hope that you have a great day.